Hey everybody, my name is Andrea and I'm a high school student helping out at the Diamandis Lab. And today I'm here to help you guys increase your neuropsych IQ by giving you 10 amazing facts about the brain. And by the end of this video, you guys will also be able to share this information with your friends and family. Fact number one. I'm sure we've all experienced how painful a brain freeze can be. And it may feel like the pain is coming from the brain. But contrary to this belief, the pain actually originates from the roof of the mouth, as you drink a cold beverage, for example. Fortunately, a brain freeze does not freeze brain cells because they would rupture and turn into mush. The cold temperature is sensed by receptors on the roof of the mouth, and the brain receives a message from these receptors via the trigeminal nerve. As a result, the brain processes this message as one coming from the front of the head or the temples, and so you get a brain freeze. Some individuals are more susceptible to brain freezes, meaning that their trigeminal nerve system is hypersensitive. A hypersensitive trigeminal nerve system is thought to be related to the release of calcitonin gene-related peptide receptor, or CGRP for short, which is a neuropeptide linked to migraines. Fact number two. Although it may seem that the bigger your brain, the smarter you are, this is not necessarily true. In fact, Albert Einstein's brain weighed 2.71 pounds or 1,230 grams, which is 10% smaller than the average three pounds or 1,400 grams. However, the neuron density of his brain was much higher than average, and his cerebral cortex was found to be increasingly different from that of a person of average intelligence. Fact number three. 60% of the brain's weight is fat, making it the most fatty organ of the body. 25% of the body's cholesterol, which is crucial for every single brain cell, resides within the brain. This is because neurons are supported by myelin, which is a sheath made up of protein and fatty substances. If myelin is damaged by multiple sclerosis, for example, the neurons will not function properly, so having high total cholesterol is not so bad for your brain and it actually reduces the risk of dementia. However, it does cause negative effects elsewhere in the body. Fact number four. The hippocampus, which resembles the shape of a seahorse, is the part of the brain where memories are retrieved and processed. It is significantly larger in London cab drivers due to the mental workout that they have while navigating the 25,000 streets of London. On the other hand, an individual with Alzheimer's or schizophrenia would have a hippocampus that is much more smaller. There are two types of memories that the hippocampus is able to process. That's declarative memory and spatial memory. Declarative memory involves information about facts or events that can be consciously recalled. Spatial memory is what the cab drivers are using. This type of memory involves the storage and retrieval of information that has to do with formulating a route to a desired destination and for remembering the location of objects. The famous patient HM, short for Henry Molaison, experienced frequent seizures. His neurosurgeon, Dr. William Scoville, decided to remove his hippocampus. However, he was incapable of remembering anything that happened within the past 10 years, and he was also incapable of forming new memories. On the other hand, Henry was able to remember a piece of information long enough for him to be able to form a sentence with that information. Brenda Milner was a PhD student who studied Henry's behaviors post-surgery. Milner's tests with Henry gave light to the difference between long-term memory and short-term memory. Henry's brain had the ability to conduct the first steps in making memories. However, without a hippocampus to consolidate the memories, it was as if these first steps had never happened. Fact number five. Brain information has the ability to travel up to an impressive 268 miles per hour or 431.3 kilometers per hour, which is faster than a Formula One race car, which tops out at about 240 miles per hour. This high-speed transferring of information is dependent on saltatory conduction. Along myelinated axons from one node of Ranvier to the next, there is a propagation of action potentials. Action potential occurs when the electrical potential between the interior and exterior walls of myelin rapidly rises and falls, 
or depolarizes, causing nearby neurons to depolarize as well. And so messages are sent all throughout the nervous system. Fact number six, the brain is so powerful that it can be compared to a supercomputer by measuring how fast a computer moves information throughout its system. As a result, researchers involved in the AI Impacts project claim that the human brain is 30 times more powerful than the IBM Sequoia, which is one of the world's fastest supercomputers. It was designed with 1.6 million 16 core processors for the National Nuclear Security Administration. So the fact that the human brain's capabilities surpass such an important piece of technology really is quite the feat. Fact number seven, 90 minutes of sweating can temporarily shrink the brain as much as a year of aging can. The average brain shrinks about 5% per decade after the age of 40. This effect that exercise has on the brain does not equate to that of aging. In fact, exercise has been proven to improve brain function and is one of the very few methods for maintaining brain size and function into older age. Researchers have looked into the effects of aerobic exercise upon the hippocampus, and the results showed that exercise did significantly increase the size of the left hippocampus. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, is a chemical produced during exercise. It is speculated that this chemical aids in the prevention of age-related decline by reducing deterioration of the brain and the likelihood of developing age-related neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's. However, more research needs to be conducted to solidly establish this finding. Fact number eight. The varying estimate is that the human brain contains about 85 to 100 billion neurons. To put this into perspective, a chimpanzee would have about 28 billion neurons, while a dog would have 2 billion neurons, contributing to the reason why humans are at a much higher cognitive level than other organisms. In humans, each neuron transmits about 1,000 nerve pulses per second. Altogether, they send more messages than all the phones across the entire world. Through this process, each neuron generates a certain amount of electricity. So altogether, these billions of neurons are what allow the brain to generate about 12 to 25 watts of electricity, which is just enough to power a low wattage LED light. Fact number nine. Although pain is processed in the brain, specifically in the parietal lobe, your brain has no pain receptors, meaning that no pain would be felt if your brain were being poked at, which explains why a patient can be awake during brain surgery as they would not feel any discomfort or pain. So what happens when you get a headache? Just like a brain freeze, the pain of a headache does not originate from the actual brain itself, even though it may feel like it. In reality, the pain is caused by sensations from the nearby skin, immovable joints of the skull, the sinuses, or even blood vessels. Last but not least, fact number 10. One of the most powerful computers is the K-Computer found in Japan. It was once programmed to simulate brain-human activity. However, it took a whole 40 minutes to process the data equivalent to just one second of brain activity. There you have it, 10 amazing facts about the brain that you guys can impress your friends and family with. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications.